What's going on everyone? Today we have a very special video where I'm going to be showing you how to do everything with Chia on a MacBook. And this thing is pretty old. The point of this video is basically for those of you who want to get involved in Chia and you have an old computer laying around, but you don't exactly want to go buy a dedicated computer for Chia, then this video might be perfect for you. If you're looking to get started with Chia, then here is a recommended drive from our sponsor of this video, Western Digital. You can find this using my link, calcur.tech forward slash HDD. You can see there is an 18 terabyte and a 16 terabyte drive option, as well as numerous other options in the shop section. Another great option is the Western Digital Elements desktop, 16 terabyte. This is a USB enclosure, so you can just plug it right into your computer and start farming. If these numbers are a little too high for you, they do have lower terabyte storage, such as a six terabyte. And you can find other size storage as well if you're just looking for direct hard drives, such as this six terabyte right here. Another option is this G drive USB-C, which is ready to go and is currently in stock for the 14 terabyte. As you can tell, the options for Western Digital are pretty much unlimited, so check them out. I'll leave a link below, and again, you can use my short link, calcur.tech forward slash HDD. This thing is weak, okay? It's six years old. It has like a dual core processor and like 256 gigs of RAM, or that'd be crazy, storage. So we're gonna need a couple of tools, and you can, you know, hack stuff together to make this work. But here's what I have. I have an external SSD enclosure and inside it has an inland premium solid state drive. Not this one, obviously. This is a two terabyte. Inside I have a 512, but I'm only gonna be doing one plot at a time. I'm not gonna be doing anything in parallel cause I was tinkering with it and things were crashing and just really wasn't keeping up with it. So my thoughts are just getting a little bit of plots over time is better than it just sitting here. So we're just gonna do in uh, one at a time serial. So like serial as in like one after the other, not like the serial that, Never mind. Then here we have one of my original hard drives when I started Chia. So just so you guys are aware, these this is pretty much full with plots. So I unplugged this from my farming machine for this video. So I'm giving up winning Chia once every 25 years for this video. That's how much I care about this content. So here's what we're gonna do. We're going to start by looking at our disks. We have the solid state drive, the 512 gigabyte drive. Then we have our hard drive. And I formatted this to XFAT. Man, I really need to step up my game. It's not even like three fourths of the way full. So why did I go with XFAT? Well, it's cause it lost weight. No, I'm just playing. Basically, this is a, it's a file system format that'll work on Mac and on Linux. And because I was going to do the farming part of this on a Linux machine, I decided to format this XFAT. If you're just gonna be using Mac, you don't have to do that, but basically you just click this erase button up here, and I'm certainly not gonna accidentally click erase. And then that's the format XFAT. If you didn't do that, it might be defaulted to one of these other Mac formats up here. So we're gonna stick with that. Once you have that formatted, should be ready to go. And we're going to need the Chia software. By the way, all the links to all these products are in the description. I have an Amazon link, as well as a Western Digital link if you're looking for storage, because not everything is in stock on Amazon or you know the prices might not be what you're looking for. So check out both of those links to see what is available. So we'll go to chia.net and we're gonna keep this really simple. We're just gonna go with the installer for Mac OS. I don't know if you guys can hear the fan for this thing. Basically, it's ready to explode and we haven't even started plotting yet. So there's some really important things to talk about now. You can see the version is 1.1.4. And there's a really big update coming soon. There's a high chance if you're watching this in the near future that that update is already out and it makes the plots poolable. So they're not just tied to you. You can actually move them from pool to pool, which can increase the consistency of your earnings with Chia. So let's go ahead and install this. Basically my point of explaining that was to say, if you're watching this before that update, you might not wanna spend a ton of time plotting just if you're gonna have you know, one individual drive, your time to win is going to be very low. 
if the plotting update is out, you know, if you're on a version newer than 1.1.4, then most likely these are poolable plots. <laughs> it's a mouthful. And you'll be much better off. And we have a really cool pooling announcement coming out Monday. So stay tuned for that video and for all the updates to stay up on top of the Chia network. So we'll drag that to our applications. Now go ahead and click on Chia from your apps. Click open. Connect side of that. We don't need that anymore. And full screen this. While this is loading, I wanted to mention that the SSD size is important for how many you want to do in parallel at the time of this video. One plot, the temporary storage for that plot, takes up 256 gigabytes of storage. So I think with a two terabyte, you can do like seven in parallel. And then typically you can do one in parallel for every core of your computer and I'll go off of the core. So even if it's like eight core, 16 thread, I'll just do eight in parallel. But people do all kinds of different things and I don't think there is a guaranteed best way of doing it quite yet. But people are testing it out to figure out what's best. And it's broken. So I guess that's the end of this video. If this happens, I just read online what could possibly fix it. Always making sure you have any mnemonic phrase written down before you start tinkering with files or deleting Chia if you have a mnemonic phrase. If you don't, then just follow along. So you open up Finder and Go, and then you're going to go to folder, tilde, forward slash, and that should bring you to your user folder. Oh, and here's a photo of me and, uh, Stephen Curry, which is pretty cool. He obviously photoshopped that because he was like, dang, I want to be with this crazy famous YouTuber dude. And we'll just list our files out one after the other. And then you can hold command shift period. And that's going to show hidden files. And we can scroll through here. And there's probably one for Chia. You can see it right there. So we're going to right click and we're going to move it to trash. I'm going to close out of Chia. I'm going to delete it and then reinstall it. So I'm gonna delete the Chia blockchain folder from here, which if you have this, you might wanna just trash that. And then we'll go to applications, find Chia on here. We will trash that. Try just reinstalling this, maybe that'll fix everything. So just reopen the installer, I have it right here, and we'll just drag Chia over to applications. All right, let's try this now. I'm opening up Chia. Fingers crossed. How about if it doesn't work, you have to subscribe to this channel and hit notifications, of course. <sighs> Come on. Come on. Oh, I don't think it's going to work. All right, so I'm finally in. All I had to do was restart the computer and be patient. <laughs> we'll go to plots, add a plot, choose a plot size. We're going to go with K32. And you can get all the temporary space information here, which is nice if you ever forget the numbers. Next up, choose a number of plots. I'm just gonna go with 29. I'm not gonna go for parallel, but you can do that if you want. And I'm just gonna go with the default RAM usage and default pretty much everything. Select the temporary directory. This is where we select the SSD. Right there, open. Select final directory. And this is where we select the hard drive. And you can see all of my plots that I've already made. So we'll click open and then we'll create plot. You all probably have to sign in using your computer password. And there we go. We're plotting. It's going to take literally forever, like probably 12 plus hours, potentially. I'm not entirely sure. I haven't used such a crappy machine yet. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to adjust some sleep settings. So if you go to the little search bar up here, you can type in energy and go to energy saver. And then I pretty much just turn off all energy <laughs> saving things, which is kind of ironic. So turn display off, never. Prevent computer from sleeping automatically, yes. Put hard drives to sleep, no. Wake for Wi-Fi network access, yes. Enable power nap, no. And I think that should be good. Now I have heard that doing these changes doesn't guarantee that your drives won't go to sleep. So if your plots are failing, what you can do is you can go into the log right here and get all the information you need to check what's wrong. You know, if maybe it's not connecting to this drive here and so forth. So the next thing is you can go to farm and add plot directory, add plot directory, 
go ahead and choose that hard drive and select that plot directory. And it'll take some time to load here. Now, if you're brand new to Chia, you'll have to sync first, which I'm surprised how easy it was for me to sync. Typically, uh, it's not so easy. Let everything sync up and you will start farming while you are plotting. These don't have to be two separate things or two separate computers. As this hard drive fills, it'll continue to farm on those plots. Now, I wanted to take a moment to answer some questions you might have. So the first question is, do you need an SSD? No, if you just have a hard drive, for example, you might just have a USB uh, two terabyte hard drive that you use for some media backup. That'll work perfectly. It's just gonna be a lot slower. <laughs> like, it will be noticeably slower to put it nicely because the fast SSD is what makes plotting quick. But one of the ideas behind Chia is that you don't have to go buy equipment. And in the long run, that might not always be the most profitable way of winning at Chia. Right now, I think that is potentially the case because the network is new and the coin has potential to go up in value significantly. So you can just use the same destination drive as your temp drive. You might just wanna put a folder in there for temp just so it stays a little bit more organized because the temp folder is going to be filled with a bunch of files. The next question is, do you need an SSD enclosure like this one where you take an SSD and put it inside or can you just use a pre inserted uh, whatever you want to call it SSD that you buy from Amazon for example I bought this for some media backup for my YouTube channel and I figured hey it might be fast enough that I could use it for video editing well this can certainly work as well for the temporary drive you don't have to get an enclosure and an external drive. I personally went with this because it's just a little bit more flexible. And honestly, I just find these a little flaky. You know, if, if it stops working, well, is the drive screwed up or is it the, the connection? I can't actually take the drive out very easily to try out a different one. Just not ideal for the situation. This enclosure is kind of garbage. Here's a much better one that I found on Amazon. It is on my Amazon store if you want to get this exact one. This one here is Thunderbolt, which is different than USB-C, but if your computer supports Thunderbolt and you're looking for a very nice enclosure, this is the one I recommend. It's metal, it stays cool, and overall it's pretty nice. It's a little bit more of a pain to get the drive in there, but once it's in there, it's good. And the Thunderbolt allows for very fast speeds. This one was kind of a scam because they advertised USB-C, but if you look at it closely, it's really just USB with a USB-C converter. So it can work with the USB-C plug-in, but you're going to get USB speeds. So basically from fastest to slowest, it's Thunderbolt, USB-C, then USB. And then within USB, there's USB 3 and USB 2. If for SSDs, you probably want USB-C or Thunderbolt, but USB will work, of course. Next question is, can you use a solid state drive for the destination drive? Yes, that's fine. For example, in my case, where I had that two terabyte backup drive, well, I could definitely put two terabytes worth of plots on that drive. Next up, do you have to have a little plug-in for your hard drive here? No, you can just have a USB drive. Basically, I mean, it's not too crazy, but a lot of people are really confused about this for some reason. Basically, if you can access the files on the device, then it is a suitable device for farming. You can put your plots on there and it'll work. It doesn't have to be magically fast. I think there's like a 30 second window of basically accessing that file and submitting your success. So you don't have to have really fast internet or a really fast destination drive. So what I might do is leave this computer running just for a couple days, see what happens. If you want to know basically the speed of using a six plus year old laptop with some external tools, drop a comment in the comment section below. If there's anything I forgot or you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section as well. Remember to stay tuned for my video talking about pools. We're gonna have some crazy announcements which might make this whole process more profitable or at least more predictable. If you're serious about cryptocurrencies and you want a more transparent view of how I invest my money as well as other cryptocurrency experts, then I do have a community. This is a one-time purchase for lifetime access to ask questions, chat, learn about new projects, and a lot of cool things. So if that sounds interesting to you, then check out the link in the description. Lots of people figuring out the best setup, 
how to increase the rewards, save money, and so forth. Thanks again for watching, really appreciate it, and stay tuned for upcoming videos. Maybe we'll do a Windows equivalent. Guess we'll have to see.